Oh, it's so uh, different and like a loner, like I was a black sheep of the family type thing. Okay. Recently, I saw the horrible news of a transgender woman named Coco the Doll being murdered in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, like a week or two ago. This particularly like hit me close to home because I feel as men, um, black men, we're not allowing ourselves to love who we want to love openly without fearing being judged and shamed publicly. You know what I mean? So. I feel that we're taught as children that being emotional or sexually ambiguous uh, is wrong and that, you know, we learn to suppress certain feelings, but um, we don't never grow up and really learn to deal with them. As you come into adulthood, I find that as men, you know, we get frustrated that by what we're basically feeling in our hiding and take this frustration out on others. And, you know, sometimes that emotional trauma can basically lead to violence or, you know, death. Which brings me to why I'm doing this video. Um, I'm in a very beautiful relationship with someone who makes me very happy. She's very sexy, very talented. And most of all, she has a beautiful kind of spirit, which I love. My girlfriend, she is transgender. Her name is Dee Smith. You know, after Coco's death, basically, I wanted to make it very clear to her that she has a place that she can feel safe and free with and, you know, basically feel seen and loved without any conditions. Well, I don't want to be one of those men benefiting from like a trans woman in private and you know and not celebrate her publicly so this is somebody I've known for like over 10 years now and from day one we've always had this like very special very very special connection. I feel like it's time for you know just men in general to basically step up and just own who we are as men and with that being said I'm signing off and that's it man just love who you love <laughs>